in this part of my F123 my team career mode we go to Austria we're around mid-season now and the championship needs some spicing up so we've got a new webcam we've got a sprint we've got three long straights we've got three DRS zones what's not to like let's head to qualifying wet qualifying it was for Q1 wet qualifying it was for Q2 Q3 it's gone dry though as now we start our flying lap just to try and get the heat into the tires and it's not really working at the moment as you can see, we start the lap, we get the DRS open. Djokovic did make it through into Q2, but no sh shocks other than that really. As, as you can see, the webcam is already distracting me. We already have gone onto the grass. Not the best start, but as we head towards turn three, Austria is one of my favorite tracks. I love the many straights. I love sector two in particular. I really do enjoy it. It's a 16-0 in the first sector. And we are currently through a thing that was purple in the first sector. It's Fernando Alonso, a 104.9. That's the target to beat at the moment. Both McLarens still yet to cross the line. Comment down below, guys, what you think of this webcam. Whether I should keep it or whether I should go back to just no webcam and what I was doing before. I need your guys' feedback. What do you guys think? As now we finish our lap, we've gone purple in the middle sector as well. 53 seconds, we're still going onto the grass. The webcam is clearly a bit of a distraction. But as we come around the final corner, what stroll set a 105.8. That's the time to be in P6. But we go up into P4 with a 104.8. And we are going to need to go again. But we just couldn't find the time when we went again. We went green the first day, we were about a tenth up. But that middle sector was something as we try and break really late going into the corner but we just couldn't find the time and that is it alexander albon claims pole position in the alfa romeo where has that lap come from george russell in p2 the staff in p3 mclaren's in the th um fourth and fifth um alonso p7 the club p8 and we are in p9 so lots of surprises with albon on pole but not the ideal start for us in our championship webcam hopes we are currently leading the championship by quite a good margin to George Russell, about 30 points, I think. So we can afford to lose a couple points here. But hopefully we can't as we go to five red lights for the sprint, remember. Here in um, Austria, it's lights out and away we go. Piastri and Norris, two guys on mediums, do not get a good start whatsoever. As we're going to take advantage of that, as is Fernando Alonso going round the outside and up into P5. And now... Up against Fernando Alonso, we're gaining using ERS. Not the best stuff with the McLarens, as they're on the mediums, obviously not getting the grip they want as we're going to go down the inside of Fernando Alonso. And can we maybe get Russell as well? We send it on George Russell and up into P3. What a start for us. That is a brilliant start, but can we catch up to Albon and Max Verstappen in the Red Bull and Alfa Romeo, respectively? Already 1, sec one, one second, 1.2 seconds up the road. Can we catch up to them? It might be too much of an ask. As Russell tries to send down the inside. We go onto the gravel. We do. I was not expecting that whatsoever. As we've got all out of shape. As now Piastri is coming to overtake us. We, we've got in P3. And now we're down to P6. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Russell just sent it on us. We, we overtake. Lando Norris and he loses out to Piastri as well. I thought Piastri might overtake us for a minute But now Alonso's going for the move for on Russell up ahead Can we maybe seize this opportunity to get back at them because Russell that he, there was no room there He just sent it and he's forced us onto the gravel and we're gonna we're gonna race how Russell how we got raced up against him as he's he gonna go for the move on Fernando Alonso I think he is and he's broken his front wing you see a bit of carbon fiber there with Russell's front wing he, Russell is going so aggressive in this sprint and he's paid for it. He's paid badly for it. He's lost a bit of his front wing. Surely he's going to have to make a pit stop now as well. He's going to go down the inside of Russell. Go a bit deep just for good measure to shove him out a bit. Tell him we vent our frustrations. We are not happy with him at the moment. As now Fernando Alonso is up ahead. All we got to do is just stay in the DRS. Because the, the three DRS zones in Austria will surely help us and you, it's very difficult to lose the DRS in Austria when you've got three DRS zones and with our car like ours you definitely should not be doing that as now it's a safety car whoa maybe we are not as Russell's got a five second time penalty Russell 
What is going on here, mate? We have to see what happened there. All right, so here's Russell. We go. There's Lando Norris going round the outside. Oh, the Ferrari. So the Ferrari went round the outside. Yeah, it happens all the time in Austria, the dodgy pit lane on this game. Because you have to sort of go outwards. And mm. Poor George Russell. I mean, my sympathy's limited because he sort of crashed into us and ruined our race. But it's not over just yet, to be fair. We've got a safety car. We can catch up to both Verstappen and um, Albon. So that's going to help us. So the safety car is now in this lap. Lap 5. We've got three laps in this sprint. A safety car in a sprint has certainly made it more of a... A, a, more of a sprint than anything, obviously. It's made it a lot more competitive. It's, gonna, it's literally flat out over the last three laps. So we're going to go switch to the left to the right. Alonso does not leave us space. So we're just going to go down the inside. A very aggressive moves from there. But we do get up into P3. That was a bit a bit too aggressive. But already Albon and Verstappen pulling away 1.4 seconds. We are going to need them to battle and not to fight with Fernando Alonso's. Is that Albon looking up? Albon's locked up there, and that's really helped us. We've just gained about four or five tenths on the Thai Brit driver and the Dutchman. There's now lap seven. Albon and Verstappen going for it. We're going to just swoop past Verstappen, really gain from that. Now Alexander Albon is right there. P1 is in our sights, but Verstappen wants to come back at us. He's going to go round the outside. We're going to break a bit later and just hold it on the inside, but he's still there. So now we get a better exit than Albon, it seems. Better traction. Going past the uh, Alfa Romeo. I'm not sure what he's doing up here. Shh, Albon's really driving the wheels off that car. But up into P1 we go on the last, second to last lap. Let's go. I, this, I did not expect this on lap two, on lap one when we the sprint. As, as on lap one of the sprint with, when Russell crashed into us. But now Verstappen sent it and he's actually got us. We, we might not be winning this race after all. Verstappen has overtaken us and he's up into P1, we're going to have to actually send it on him to try and come back. And we're pushing as much as we can. AI always push on the last lap. We're going to have to push even more than them. And now Max Verstappen is right there. I thought about a massive dive bomb into the corner, into the right hander. But then we go down the inside into the final corner as Alonso's locked up as well. Oh my God, what has happened in the last corner of... Um, of Austria, of this sprint. So we've sent it. Alonso is just locked up. So, as you can see, we make a massive dive bomb. Alonso could have gone and got the race win there, maybe, if he got the better exit. Oh, he comes on very dangerously. And now Russell, he might win. He might overtake Alonso here. As we come home to win the race, let's see, where who's ahead? Russell or Fernando Alonso? Or in... Wait, no, that's not Russell, is it? It's, um... Ocon or Fernando Alonso because Russell's down the order from his pit stop. So we can have to see there, but we have won the race. Mark seems happy with us. We're driver of the day. Quite quite a nice achievement. But who is ahead of the former teammates? Russell or Ocon? It is Alonso. Not Russell or Ocon. Alonso or Ocon. And Alonso does pip his former teammate as we are P1. Verstappen P2. Drogovic up to P11. Russell down in 18th. Piastri finished P4, very solid result for him. Albon in P3, shame he was leading that for most of the way, I believe. Leclerc down in P10, so still not really showing enough pace. As now, we're it. we've headed to the race and we are starting on the soft compound tires along with the majority of the grid. Alonso, an at the only one in the top five to start on the hard tires. Very interesting then as we line up for the grid now as we go to five red lights for the main race here in Austria from pole position. It's lights out and away we go. Verstappen does not get away well at all. Albon does get away well though and he is up into P2 immediately. So he wants to make dividend. He wants to gain from that Verstappen portal to start and he has. Alonso has overtaken Verstappen as well and he's up into P3. Piastri up into P4 as Albon's going for the move on us. He wants this really badly. You can tell he's bitter from the sprint. And he, Albon, does not get the position just yet. But now, coming into the, uh, the arc ties are freezing, coming into this next right hander, the final straight. Albon going round the outside. Has he got it? He actually has. Albon's gone clean round the outside of us. Fair play. What a move by the tie Brit driver in a car that should not be here whatsoever in no regard should the Alfa Romeo be this quick 
but he's done it. The biggest upset in F1 history, maybe. We have won every race so far, but one in in Saudi Arabia. Well, we have Russell has emerged victorious, but Albon now could he be about to upset us and get his first win in Formula One? Alonso behind us, he's doing really well on those hard tires. His tires must be freezing, but he's driving it in a very Fernando Alonso way, I must say. As now. We want to come back at Albon. Are we going to make a mega dive bomb down the inside? I thought about it. I did think about it. Decided just to stay behind and wait for the DRS, which will be active next lap. But we are still going to need to use ERS to try and stick with Albon. And we get Slipstream as well as Piastri is overtaking Alonso. As Albon's locked up. Albon's locked up. Oh my word. Alexander Albon. He was leading the race. He's cracked after a lap of pressure from us oh dearie me Alex what has gone wrong there he just locked up and we are gonna take say thank you very much up into p1 again but Albon is still behind us and he will have DRS next lap so he's not out of it just yet as we go deep so we've cracked under pressure as well as we have to let Albon through after that you know we, we can't really keep that position because he did deserve and we came back onto the track a bit dangerously but here comes Piastri I was not aware of this he's overtaken me he's overtaking Albon as well we're gonna to have to take it tight to the line and maybe get a better exit than Albon which we have done and now Oscar Piastri has also got DRS and now we're gaining on him gaining gaining no ERS used just yet we're gonna make a dive onto the inside where's Verstappen come from Verstappen's absolutely sent it oh my god he's crashed into what? He's crashed into Piastri. He's lost a bit of his front wing. He might have to make a pit stop as well. It's a copycat move of what Russell did to um, Alonso in the sprint. It's now we're going to go to the inside of Piastri while Verstappen goes round the outside and we're going to go down the inside of both of them. It's all kicking off here in Austria. Three laps in and we've already had cra a crash, a four wide pretty much battle and a sort of car, our car was stuck there. Wow, what has happened there? It's now lap 11. We do make our pit stop. We were just DRS training every, uh, Perez. We were DRS training Perez and we were DRS training Alexander Albon. Verstappen has pit onto, I'm not sure what tyre actually. I, I think it's the mediums, I'd assume. I'd, I'd assume Verstappen would be making a two stop as we come out of the pits in P10, it seems. And Verstappen is onto the mediums and he's four seconds ahead of us. But he probably will have to make another pit stop. Surely he's not going to go to the end on those tyres. It would just be, you know, really stupid, pretty much. As now, we are in P10. Coming out of the pit lane, we need to get our tyres warmed up. Alonso, 2.6 behind us. Leclerc behind him. Bottas, P8. Everyone ahead of Bottas is yet to pit, including... Alex Albon and Sergio Perez as now everyone else made their pit stop. Brian P2. Perez stayed out for two more laps, which I thought was completely just stupid. Look what's going to happen here. Perez, three laps fresher tyres. Well, not three laps. Much fresher tyres. About, 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 about 11 laps fresher tyres than him we had in for those past three laps. As we've come out, of the, and the Perez is out of the top five. Even Esteban Ocon's overtaken him. Perez now coming out of the pit lane. I believe he's about P7. I don't know what he is thinking. But now Max Verstappen has not made a pit stop. He is going for the full race win. And we had to catch him up. And and now, with four seconds to catch up, we have caught up. And now, Max Verstappen, we are gaining on him. Gaining, gaining. We're going to need to make the move. We've got four laps left. So we should have plenty of time. Verstappen makes so late, so I'm going to go for a little switch back. No, Verstappen covers that off, but now with a better exit, maybe. Can we go for the move? No, not quite. Verstappen is doing so well in that Red Bull just to stop us from overtaking. But now we have got much faster than we're going to go round the outside of the Red Bull. He's frustrating us here as Max Verstappen, but now with a better exit on much fresher tyres, surely we're going to get it. No way he holds it round the outside of this left double left-hander. He's still there, to be fair to him. And now, on the inside, just get a bit caught. And a little twitch from us happening. He almost spun there. But no, we, he does keep the position somehow. Maybe a, a massive dive bomb into this corner like we did. Tried in the sprint. No, Verstappen covers that off. Verstappen is doing a mega job of just stopping us winning here. I don't know what to do. 
But now, lap 23, we're going to make the move to the inside of Max Verstappen. It's been coming, and this time, surely, we're going to stick... It's going to stick because Verstappen is now fully behind us and we are up into P1. But it's not over yet because Verstappen has looked after his tyres so well. Then we go a bit wide. That's not going to help us. Surely we do keep the position. Yes, we do. And Verstappen is doing so, so well. He's still got quite decent tyres, I'd say. I mean, we've been pushing completely. Verstappen's probably been conserving his tyres for these last couple laps. Now we have overtaken him. As now he will have the DRS on us. Bear that in mind. And he's gaining on us as we start the second to last lap here. Two laps of fuel left. Two laps of racing left. And now Verstappen on, gaining on us. Gaining on us. Gaining on us. Verstappen is going to go to the inside to the outside. We cover the outside. We cover the racing line. Verstappen goes down the inside of us. We're going to have to hold it around the outside. We do get the DRS. And now Ocon's actually caught catching up to us. Great drive from Ocon to be fair. Well, I might must mention this. Great drive from him. I think got knocked out in Q1, but we re-overtake Max Verstappen for the lead of the race. But we've got one more lap just to stop Verstappen overtaking us. But Verstappen's probably saved his ERS. The ERS, oh, the AI always saved the ERS for the last lap. We've only got 13% left as Verstappen's going round our outside. We're going to break just a bit later, go a bit deep, force him wide. But that, that hampers our exit, but Verstappen... Also does not have a good exit. We've now got DRS. Surely that means it's over for us. Will Leclerc maybe be able to catch Verstappen? I doubt it. But you never know. Because this is Formula 1. Remember. Anything can happen. It looks like we have booked in the race win. Yes we have. Round the final corners we, uh, we, we come. P9 in qualifying. P1 in the sprint. And it's P1 in the race. We keep our championship we extend our championship and we win the austrian grand prix at the red bull ring in front of the stappens fans let's go I had to work for that one it was not as plain sailing as it may have seemed but we had to do it and we got the job done the stappen great drive from him had to make a front wing change and had to nurse those tires probably about 20 laps great drive So then, exactly Crofty, we extend our lead with 33 points overall in the weekend. But what about the others? We, Will Verstappen did a great job, end up only 7 tenths behind us. But in terms of the standing struggle, which, by the way, P13, not ideal. We are, we are looking to replace him at the end of this, when his contract expires, which is in a couple weeks, I believe, for the mid-season transfer market. And that might spice up some things. We are now looking at Alexander Albon, maybe to replace him in overall. Ocon, by the way, finished P3 overall on the weekend. Very solid weekend from him. We are now 72 points ahead of George Russell in the standings at the moment. Wow, we need to start nerving ourselves on 40 points in the Constructors. So next episode, we are we, well, we actually have nerfed ourselves already. But next episode, we are going to up the AI and make it a bit more competitive but guys if you have enjoyed this part of my f123 my team career mode make sure to like and subscribe it helps out so much for the algorithm and for the channel and i'll see you guys next time for the british grand prix my home race the team's home race can we bring it home
or will the a advanced AI just have it in us at our home race? We'll find out then. Make sure to stay tuned for that one. So click the notification bell as well. So you don't miss out on weekly F1 uploads. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.